What's up everyone? I hope you guys are all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all my reoccurring viewers, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have shown the channel. As many of you guys know, I did just purchase a new home to do Airbnb out of. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you guys the full tour of the house after it's been completely furnished and done. So yeah, guys, if you're interested, make sure you stick around. Before we actually jump into the full tour of the house, I actually want to give a shout out to my best friend, Robert Icub. If you guys don't know who he is, he's actually a YouTuber as well that does rental arbitrage with Airbnb and also hosts Airbnb in Springfield, Missouri. And he actually flew out here and helped me get everything set up. And he's actually created an amazing course. And like I always mention in my videos, I would not recommend anybody that I don't work with. And Robert has helped me a ton when it came to little things that I had to do in my home in order to actually have a really successful listing. So if you guys are interested, I will link down below the course if you guys wanna go check it out and wanna purchase it in order for you guys to actually start something like this. He does an amazing job providing all the value that he has and everything that he's gone through. So guys, make sure you go check him out. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the full tour of the house. What's up? What's up, dude? Come on in, everyone. So here we are. We are currently all done. Got the home listed on Airbnb and HomeAway. So the first thing I want to start out with is the sweet nest lock that I actually got right here. As you guys can tell, um, it's Yell and Nest together. So the cool thing about this is that you can actually set the codes remotely. Right, so you can be anywhere uh, and give all your guests, change the passcodes off an app. So that was a pain to get all installed, but it's all good, we got it done. So another thing is guys, there's this little nest thing that actually connects it uh, to the app. So that programming that was a pain, but here we are, got it done. So right here, we are in the living room, as you guys can see, this is a 55 inch Roku smart TV. So it's got everything, and we do have direct TV. So yeah, guys, that is the TV. This couch right here is actually a sleeper sofa. So as you guys can tell, you'll lift this part up right here, and then this comes out nicely, like this. And you then move the pillows out of the way, and yeah. So tell us, tell us why that. Tell us why this is a good idea, having having a so sleeper yeah, sofa. The whole idea behind doing like Airbnb and HomeAway is the more heads you can actually sleep, the more profitable your home will actually be or your listing will actually be. So this right here can technically sleep one, but you could definitely sleep two. This is more like a full size bed right here. So that is pretty much the couch, which is really cool. So make sure if you guys are doing this, get something like this where you guys can actually sleep more people. So with that being said, we do have the kitchen next. Uh, here we have obviously a dining table, and yes, those fruit are real, but yeah, we got dishwasher, real nice sink that's deep, and then we have a ton of plates and bowls because the whole idea is to sleep a minimum of 12 people, but up to 16. So you wanna make sure that you got enough plates, enough bowls in there. As you guys can see, full cool set of knives, scissor, we got a toaster here, a nice smoothie blender. Because if people do come, you know, for an extended period of time, they'll probably do shopping and stuff. So, and then up here we just have a cheese grater, some nice little bowls to put and then dip the bacon. Down here we got trash bags, um, little pods here from the dishwasher, for then to do dishes. And then over here, is where we have all the cups. Up here, we have literally everything you can think of. I mean, you got a meat beater, you got a pork deal for wine. You just got everything here. Um, and then down here, you have all your pots and pans down there. So it's kind of all nice to have it all organized. And then as you guys can see, the Keurig, and then you got this nice big fridge. We got some stuff in there that, and then you got a pitcher in here. You can fill this up before the guests come. Have some nice cold water. And then you got a freezer down here. As you guys can see, it's nice and big and spacious. And then back here, it's 
kind of dark right now, but we are going to get some patio furniture back here. Um, so back here we have cornhole game. We're going to actually have like a chest here. Um, all this patio furniture is going to come soon, but they're going to have a ton of games that they can play with and yeah, they'll have all that out here. It's a huge yard. So they'll have plenty of space to play in. Right. right here we got the pantry. It's massive. Have some leftover apples that I didn't put in there. Um, so they will have plenty of space to store anything that they need. Nice trash can. Dining table actually sits six people. And then we have three bar stools. So a total of nine. And then people can also just hang out over here if they need to. Coming down this way, down the hallway, this is where the supply room is. I still need to organize it all. It may not look super organized, but I'm gonna get to that and get it all organized. And this actually locks. So make sure you guys get a key that actually will lock the all the supplies. From there, we did have the laundry room here. Um, here in Phoenix, we do have to have a fire extinguisher and then also carbon monoxide because the dryer is on gas so we do need to have carbon monoxide in here to monitor that then you got the hallway bathroom and here we got towels right just nice simple towels and then you got some tissues for them and then also nice soap here and then we do have obviously a trash can and a plunger and then in the shower we have a non-slip mat down here and then also these are really cool because they actually lock so therefore people can't like spit or do anything that will ruin this so there's actually a little key that goes on the back end over here and it's just really nice and then you get these little labels and so literally what a hotel would have except hotels don't want the things but it's just a nice little safety feature from there we got the queen size bed in here and the cool thing is if you guys want to look it on every nightstand which we do have in here in the master bedroom are these charging ports right for the usb there's two of them here and then there's also two on the nightstand over here as you guys can they're they're just really cool and convenient you know they can just lay their phones here and not have to if they forget their little block that they need to use their usb they can just use that and then from there you have nice walk-in closets in every single room plenty of space and then we have a single bed here that they can actually fold out and use if they need to and if there's a big group so got all that got an extra pillow in there for that and then from there we can go ahead this is the cool thing is we have a full bunk bed right up on top and bottom and then a twin size bunk bed top and bottom and yeah, it's a little tight in here, but it really does work. So I don't think people are really gonna complain because these mattresses are super comfortable, really nice. And like I said, there's walk-in closets in all the rooms. So we got plenty of stuff in here where they can fit everything. So not a big deal at all, honestly. So I think people will really enjoy that. And then the master bedroom is probably my favorite out of all of it, as you guys can tell. This futon here actually folds down as well. So you just click on this and then it goes down. This would be like a full as well. And then we do have a 43 inch smart TV in here as well. And then you got this nice dresser. So this is really nice. And then on this room, what we decided to do with those USB deals is actually connect them right here on the side of the bed. So as you guys can see, they're not on the nightstand, they're actually on the side of the bed, which is really cool. So just kind of play with that. And then got some nice little paintings. And then in here, same thing, we do have an iron and then an iron board right here. And then also another single bed. So you could definitely fit a single bed in here real comfortably if they needed to. Um, I know when you're in big groups, you just make anything work. So kind of nice to just have that option if they need it or you can put it in the living room there's plenty of space in there as well and then the master bedroom also has the master bathroom which is really nice it's a double sink same concept right this one actually has a walk-in shower um, 
And yeah, it's really, really nice. I really like this walk-in shower. So, really turned out great with everything. And I'm just really happy overall with the entire house and how it turned out. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much the full tour of the house. And then if you come back this way, yeah, this is it. And overall, it's been quite the process, but I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. It may look real simple, but there was actually a lot that went behind it. But guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. If you guys stuck all the way to the end of the video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go watch all these other videos. They're super informative. So guys, thank you again. God bless, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.